This is the main video for Mr. Beast, and here is the short form version. Are you interested in creating trending YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels like Mr. Beast in no time? Let's see how the AI Portrait Cutout feature in Undershare Flimora can help us create short form content easily. We are using this footage to create a trending short form video. Since it's a short form editing tutorial with AI background remover, it's best to adjust Flimmer's layout for easier editing. Go to the view menu at the top, select layout mode and choose short video. This layout will instantly switch from the default to the short form layout. Now you need to remove the background. Removing the background from any video in Flimora is much easier, whether it's a green screen video or not. First make sure the video is selected on the timeline, then go to the AI tools under the video settings tab. Just below you find the AI portrait cutout option. Now click on the small slider button to enable it and just like that, the background is removed from the non-green screen video. The black background is essentially a transparent area. This is the power of AI. There was a time when removing a background from a photo was a complex and time consuming task. But now it's much easier. There are also some other settings to customize the subject of the removed background video. By default the advanced cutout mode is selected. There is another option called quick cutout mode which you can select from the drop down menu. The edge feather settings often the edges of the cutout while edge thickness controls how far the edge of the cutout extends or shrinks. By clicking the reset icon you can return settings to the default value. Let's back to advanced cutout mode to add a border around the subject, in this case Mr. Beast. First we can select the neon dashed border instead of none. Instantly you see the neon dashed border around the subject. Let's play the video to see how it looks. You can try other options like flashing border or the next neon border. The neon border looks great to me, it's trending and matches the subject very well. By the way, there are a few options to change the settings. Enhance adjust the border area, allowing you to increase or decrease it. Opacity controls the transparency of the neon border. The reset icon returns to all settings to their default values. From the color picker option, you can easily change the color of the neon border. For example, let's choose a color. You can even use the marker tool to pick a color you want for the neon border. Let's select the logo color which also works great for neon. Setting the background is the next step in creating a short video and making it eye-catching. To do this, let's go to the stock media and select the library. This library is full of stock videos and animations, neatly organized into categories, so you don't need to visit other sites for the videos or animations you are looking for. Let's grab this background video and drag it to the layer underneath the main video. Keep the position settings at 1080 by 1920 for vertical content. Now make sure the time indicator is positioned at the end of the video. Double click on the scissor icon to cut the extra background and delete it by hitting the delete key on the keyboard. Next, match the resolution of the background video with the main video by selecting it dragging its scale points and reposition it perfectly. Now let's play back the video to see how it looks. Undershare Filmora is an easy to use all-in-one video editing software for both beginners and advanced users. It's called all-in-one because it's packed with transition and effects. You don't need to purchase additional plugins for transitions, effects, or subscription for sound effects and music. Filmora's AI features are great for music and sound effects. The AI portrait cutout can remove any background from videos, whether they're green skin videos or not. This feature is perfect for videos like travel and gaming videos. Other advanced features also excellent for any video editing tasks such as AI planner tracking, AI video enhancer, multi-camera editing, and AI text to speech and translations. Check out the video description below for more details about Undershare Flimora and its other tutorials. Animated subtitles are a must-have for short-form videos, and creating animated subtitles or caption is usually a complex task. But don't worry, Flimmer's AI caption feature makes it possible without any effort. To do this, first select the video, then head over to the title section and select AI caption. This feature currently offers three options, speech-to-text, AI translation and dynamic captions. Dynamic caption is one of the easiest options for subtitles but for this tutorial I'll focus on the speech to text option. If you wanna learn more about voice cloning and text to speech, I highly recommend checking out the tutorial linked in the description. Now click on the transcript button for speech to text. A new window will pop up asking for some adjustments. The first option is to select language for the video which is English but I leave the auto detect language option enabled to test Filmora's auto detection ability. 
The second setting is for language translation for the captions. If you prefer, you can keep it in English. Next, there is the file selection options for conversion. You can choose to convert on the selected clip from the timeline or the entire timeline sequence. The next setting is the presentation of the output on the timeline. Let's choose SRT for this video. Finally, hit the generate button to allow Flimora to create the subtitles. This process will be completed in no time and you see the text layer on the timeline and subtitles on the player monitor. When you play the video, you see it with the subtitles. If there are any mistakes in the captions related to the video's voice, it may be due to pronunciation or other factors. Don't worry though, you can manually correct them. In this part of the video, we are going to learn how to customize captions or subtitles. First, you need to adjust the position of the captions. The bottom and right areas are often covered with likes, shares, description channel name or Instagram or TikTok IDs in vertical or short form content. To customize the caption, double click on the bottom text layer in the timeline and a pop-up window will appear. Now select the text layer then grab and drag the captions or titles where you want them appear. Afterward, hit the apply button to apply the same setting to the other caption layers. Now play with the time indicator to see how it looks. If you would like, you can change the font, font style, underline and other settings. Click on customize to choose a preset font style for the captions from a variety of options. If you are happy with your selected font style or design, just hit the apply to all button. Boom, this is now apply all the text layers. Ok, caption position and style are done. Now let's apply some animation to make the captions more interesting for viewers. To add animation, go to the animation tab and hover your mouse over the animation options to preview them. Choose the animation you wanna apply to your captions. For example, you can try the wave appearance by clicking on it. If you are satisfied with the animation, apply it to the all text layers. Now hit the space bar to play the video and observe the animated caption. Finally, click the save button to confirm the settings. The upper text layer is not necessary for us, so let's delete it. The Give Directly the team finalized the recipient distribution process. Adding motion graphics is the last step of this short video editing tutorial, such as a subscribe animation button, like animation, or any animation that highlighted the related topic of the video. To do this, let's go to the sticker selection. From there, you can apply this subscription animation to the video. Now place it on the timeline. Next, you need to change its size and position. To do this easily, click on the animated sticker to enable its points. Then grab and drag its points to adjust the size of the animation. After that changing its position, like moving it to the top left corner. For second animation, you can try the like button animation, which encourages your audience to like your video. To adjust the animated like button, make sure it's selected on the timeline. Then go to the video settings tab, decrease the scale value to adjust its size. Adjust the X position to modify its horizontal position and then adjust the Y position for its particle placement. Move it where it best suits your video. Next, delete extra portion of the animation stickers on the timeline. If you see a red line on the timeline, it's better to pre-render the video for a smooth playback by hitting the enter key on the keyboard. Now your video is ready for a smooth playback. Finally, for the finish touch, you can add sound effects, background music, and motion graphics to grab your viewers' attention. The Give Directly team finalized the recipient distribution process. That's for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the video description for more details about this awesome user-friendly video editing software on the share Flimora.